10 Ways to Lower Your Blood Cholesterol, Naturally Maintaining a healthy cholesterol level helps to prevent heart disease. Our body needs some cholesterol to function normally. However, too much cholesterol, especially low-density lipoprotein, LDL cholesterol, increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, including heart attacks and strokes. In this video, you will find out what cholesterol is and how it affects health. What are normal and high cholesterol levels? How long it takes to reduce cholesterol? And the best ways to lower cholesterol levels in your blood. Cholesterol is made in our liver and has many important functions. Found in the cells of the human body, it looks like a waxy, fat-like substance. Lipoprotein carry cholesterol in our blood. High levels of low-density lipoprotein result in cholesterol deposits in blood vessel walls, which can lead to clogged arteries, stroke, heart attack, and kidney failure. The lipid profile blood test reports the levels of cholesterol and triglycerides in the bloodstream. Cholesterol tests measure two types of cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein, LDL, high-density lipoprotein, HDL, total cholesterol is a measure of HDL plus LDL and also triglycerides. Low-density lipoprotein is considered as the bad kind. High levels of LDL can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, clogged arteries, and other heart health issues. High-density lipoprotein is good cholesterol that can help remove cholesterol and carry it back to the liver. Higher levels of HDL may lower the risk of cardiovascular disease. If a person has low HDL cholesterol and high LDL cholesterol, their risk of heart disease is higher. It may take a few weeks to up to three months to lower cholesterol levels after starting healthier living. Cholesterol-lowering drugs are recommended if a person has not lowered their LDL cholesterol after about 12 weeks of lifestyle changes. These drugs usually produce a change in LDL within 6 to 8 weeks. For most people, Healthy cholesterol levels are as follows, total cholesterol should be less than 200 mg per deciliter, LDL bad cholesterol should be less than 100 mg per deciliter, HDL good cholesterol should be higher than 60 mg per deciliter, triglycerides should be less than 150 mg per deciliter. The American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association recommends the use of statins for lowering cholesterol in people with high cholesterol levels considering their higher levels and overall risk of cardiovascular disease. There are a number of habits that can be incorporated into our daily routines in order to gradually and consistently lower LDL levels over time. These include Number 1. Use monounsaturated fats. Monounsaturated fats like olive oil, canola oil, tree nuts, and avocados reduce LDL, increase HDL, and reduce the oxidation that contributes to clogged arteries. Number 2. Use polyunsaturated fats and omega-3 fatty acid foods. Polyunsaturated fats have multiple double bonds that reduce LDL, bad, cholesterol and decrease the risk of heart disease. Omega-3 fatty acids are a special heart-healthy type of polyunsaturated fat found in seafood and fish oil supplements, especially in fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, herring, tuna, shellfish, and other sources like seeds and tree nuts. Number 3. Avoid trans fats. Trans fats are the fats that have been modified by a process of hydrogenation to make the unsaturated fats in vegetable oils more stable. Trans fats that are not fully saturated and are called partially hydrogenated oils, pichos. They are solid at room temperature giving more texture than unsaturated liquid oils to products like spreads, pastries, and cookies. Trans fats increase total cholesterol and LDL but decrease beneficial H. The Food and Drug Administration FDA has banned artificial PHOs or trans fats in processed foods in the United States. Number 4. Eat soluble fiber. Soluble fibers are found in plants that dissolve in water and humans cannot digest. The beneficial bacteria in our intestines require it for their nutrition. Research shows that good bacteria, also known as probiotics, can help reduce LDL levels. Good sources of soluble fiber include beans, peas, lentils, fruit, psyllium, and various whole grains, especially oats. Number 5 Exercise 
Exercise is necessary for heart health. It improves physical fitness and helps combat obesity. It helps reduce harmful LDL and increases beneficial HDL. The longer and more intense is the exercise, greater it benefits. Number 6. Maintain a healthy weight. Excess weight or obesity can increase your risk of developing high cholesterol levels. Every 10 pounds of excess fat produces roughly 10 mg of cholesterol per day. However, losing weight can decrease your cholesterol levels by decreasing the creation of new cholesterol in the liver. Number 7. Avoid smoking. Smoking increases the risk of heart disease because, the immune cells in smokers are unable to return cholesterol from vessel walls to the blood for transport to the liver. Toxic chemicals in cigarettes like acrolein can be absorbed into the bloodstream through the lungs. It hinders the body's ability to transport cholesterol back to the liver to be stored or broken down and thus increases LDL levels that can lead to the development of heart disease. Quitting smoking can help reverse these effects. Number 8. Use alcohol in moderation. You may feel this on days you take, 1 to 2 drinks that it is improving HDL cholesterol and reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease. However, heavier alcohol use increases heart disease risk and harms the liver. Number 9. Use of plant sterols and stanols. Plant stanols and sterols in vegetable oil or margarine compete with cholesterol absorption and reduce LDL by up to 20%. However, they are not proven to reduce heart disease. Number 10. Natural Cholesterol Lowering Supplements. Fish oil supplements and soluble fiber supplements like psyllium improve cholesterol and reduce the risk of heart disease. Remember. High cholesterol is a bad thing. Being the primary concern for our heart's health, it can lead to many significant complications such as stroke or heart attack. To stay healthy, we need good information to maintain our cholesterol levels and the recommended levels in our bodies. Hopefully, you find this video helpful to know about the most effective and natural methods for maintaining a good cholesterol level. Thanks for watching.